You've come to this video because you just got into a breakup or getting very close to breaking up with your significant other. And I'm gonna bring you the best ways to get over that breakup. These tips I'm gonna tell you are going to help you coast through this breakup so smoothly, you will start forgetting all about it. You'll start glowing again. You will become physically so attractive that you will attract exactly what you are looking for. All right, now boom, focus on yourself. Focus on the things that you love. Focus on growing something. Focus on growing a business. Focus on going to the gym. Focus on meditation. Focus on your physical well-being, mental well-being. Start going to the gym more often. Join that boxing class that you've been looking at. Pick up a new hobby. Keep yourself busy. An idle mind is torment to a body. When you're idling, you're just chilling all the time. You're sitting on your couch, you're sitting in your bed. That's when you start crying. That's when you start thinking about the good times and you start forgetting about the bad times. That's when you spiral down into that depression and you don't wanna be there. So stay busy, keep moving. As long as you're moving, you can't be stopped. Speed. Listen, if you got water in a bucket and you're spinning it as fast as you can, the water doesn't fall out. But as soon as you start slowing down, the water will spill out of the bucket. That is a great way to look at your breakup. If you slow down, the water spills out of the bucket. If you keep going, you never fall on your ass. Take care of your physical appearance. Maybe change your haircut. Make yourself nicer looking. When you look in the mirror, you want to love what you're seeing. So take care of your physical appearance. Is it good to see other people as soon as you break up? Well, that depends. That depends on you. I'm not saying go see somebody the next day or the same day. No, I'm not saying that at all. But the good thing to do is to not take too much time. You might meet, you might meet a great person at the bar that you go to. Go get a coffee. You spark up a conversation with a beautiful woman. Bang! Next thing you know, you're going to dinner. Oh, she's a great person. Oh, she's into the same books that you're into. Oh, she also loves going to the gym. Wow, she's so interested in these movies. She loves the same movies and content that you love to watch. You don't have to jump all the way right in, but it's a good way to keep your mind busy and keep you moving forward. Remember, you slow down, the water falls out of the bucket. Don't allow the water to fall out of the bucket or you will regret it. Trust me, I made that mistake before a long time ago when I got into a breakup myself. I let the water fall out of the bucket and it became a great mess. But as soon as I realized that I had made a mess, I sped up, I used speed. As soon as I identified that there was a mess in my life, I hit it fast. And I went right away and I got back up. I don't know where there was water in my bucket and I was going at it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to sleep with somebody right away. I'm not saying do that. Allow yourself to be open to be loved because you deserve to be loved. If you're looking to love people, you deserve to be loved. Have confidence in yourself. Build your confidence back up slowly just by speaking to people. You don't have to take everyone out to dinner. Just speak, 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 speak. Make new connections, make new friends. Speak to guys, speak to girls. Make new friends that you can go to the gym with. Make new friends that you can take to yoga. Take some numbers down, take some Instagrams down. Hang out with those people, spend some time with those people. Learn who they are. Remember, don't slow down, speed up. Stay busy, create a business. I know that you have ideas every single day that you are not attacking. Go for the ideas. As soon as you get an idea, go for it. Try it out, see how it works for you and don't give up right away. Things will get frustrating, but as long as you don't give up, you're good. Getting over a breakup is not always easy. You will need the help of other people. When you've got other people helping you, things go so much smoother, especially when they genuinely care about you. Surround yourself with people who love you. Surround yourself with people who have your best interest. That's going to pay dividends in your life. Remind yourself of exactly how the relationship was. Sometimes you will make excuses and just think about the good things. Think about the bad too. How about that? There's clearly a reason why you actually broke up with each other. Because if it was really worth it, you would have worked through it right then and there. Both of you would have worked on it right there or at least one person would have spoken and relaxed and told the other person, 
Let's work through this. I love you very much. Let's get through this. And then the other person would have followed through. You would have both worked on the solution, but that's not what happened. You genuinely broke up. So then that means there's really a big problem there. So think about the bad parts of the relationships also when you think about the good parts. Because from the good parts and the bad parts, you learn a lot about yourself and about how you need to go about relationships in the future. Think about the good things and think about the bad things. What can you do better? And what can you hold on to that worked very well in your relationship? The best thing you can do also when you reflect on the good and the bad things, write down the good and the bad things in a journal. List them out. Make a list on the left side. These are the good things I liked about my ex. These are the bad things I didn't like about my ex. Put it together and you're gonna notice what weighs more. You will notice it's a balance. Everything, everything, you gotta put everything on a scale, everything. These tips will help you get over your breakup. Do exactly as I said, you'll be too busy enjoying your new life. Peace.